of the scapular region, the first is the trapezius. We have the upper trapezius. The origin is the occipital uh, protuberance and the neutral ligament. And on the skeleton, it's right here, the, ox the occipital protuberance right here, and the neutral ligament would be off of that. And then the insertion is the lateral half of clavicle posteriorly. So it comes from up here, down here, to the lateral second half, or lateral half of clavicle posteriorly. And also to the superior acromion process of the scapula. So it comes down and it attaches here, and then this is the superior acromion process right there. And then we have its function is um, scapular elevation and upward scapular rotation. So on here, we have the um, scapular elevation, which is just raising it, and upward scapular rotation is coming forward. Maybe. <laughs> and um, so the middle trapezius, it, the spinal, or its um, origin is spinal processes of, of T1 through T4. And then its origin, or its insertion, is the superior lip of the spine of the scapula. And that's, again, as you can see on the model. So it goes, its origin is um, T1 through T4, and then its insertion is the superior lip of the spine of the scapula. So that would be right here. And that's function is scapular retraction, and that's pulling towards the, coming towards the spine. And then the lower trap the origin is the spinous process of T5 through T12. So that would be T5 through T12 right here. That's the origin. And then its insertion is um, the base or root of the spine of the scapula. So it would come to right here. So on this model, you can see the muscle would be from here. That's the origin and the insertion to the base of the spine of the scapula. And its function is scapular depression, retraction, and upward scapular rotation. Then we have the levator scapulae, which is this muscle right here. Its origin is the transverse process of C1 through C4. So that would be um, C1 through C4 these muscles right here and it'd be the transverse process as the side. And then its insertion is the vertebral border of the scapula between the superior angle and the base of the spine. So that's right here. And then its function is scapular retraction. Downward, oh no, yeah, scapular elevation and downward rotation. And then the rhomboid major or rhomboid minor is this muscle right here, and that uh, goes from the neutral ligament and spinous processes of C7 through T1. So C7 is right here, and T1 is right here. And then its insertion is the vertebral border of the scapula at the base of the spine, so that's right here. And its function is scapular retraction, downward rotation and elevation. And then the rhomboid major is this muscle right here. <laughs> and its origin is the spinous processes of T2 through T5. So that would be T1 through 3, 4, 5, T5. So that is the um, origin of the rhomboid major. And then its insertion is the vertebral border of the scapula between the base of the spine and the inferior angle. So that would insert itself right here. And its function is scapular retraction, downward rotation, and elevation.